I'm not a hardcore motorcycle camping practitioner, but when I do camp, there are two things that are important to me, a comfortable chair and a comfortable sleeping mat. This video is about the chair options I've used over the years. Here you can see the relative size of the four options. Let's start with the most basic. These stools can be bought from lots of different places for only a few dollars. They're robust, they pack up reasonably small, but they're not particularly comfortable. Okay for squatting on, but not really a relaxation chair. But they certainly are easy to unpack and pack up again. Next on the list is the LD copy of the small Helinox chair. I'm tempted to speed up the video while I unpack and then pack up these chairs but I think it's important to see how long it takes and how difficult it is. It takes a bit of effort to get the cover onto the chair. It feels as though you're going to break the legs as you spring them down to put them into place. But they seem to survive okay. However, this is a fairly light duty chair and theoretically shouldn't take my 100 kilo weight. But it does, if you're careful but I don't think these are particularly comfortable for my height of 190 centimetres. Packing up is a little easier and it all fits quite neatly into the bag. For me, this size chair is okay at a pinch, but it's not particularly comfortable. In fact, if I just want to sit around, it's probably more comfortable to sit on the ground with my back against a tree than sit on this little chair. Probably okay for small people though. And it certainly packs down small and uh, can be fitted just about anywhere on the bike. From memory, I think these LD copy of the Helinox chair was about $15. So you can't complain about the price. Next on the list comes the reasonably compact ordinary camping chair. This particular item is about 25 years old and has gone all over the place with us. It's got a reasonable level of comfort, not too bulky and very sturdy. 25 years ago this chair was relatively expensive because they were fairly new on the market but these days you can pick them up for a few dollars. But size wise, they're not very motorcycle friendly. Last on the list is another Helinox copy from Aldi. Not that I have experience with these things, but it feels like setting up a set of bagpipes. There are so many bits to put together. And I found from experience that you must make sure that those rods go right into those plastic retainers, right down in, otherwise they'll break. 
But let's face it, once you get to the campsite, what else have you got to do other than play with the chair? Well, I suppose there's drinking, eating, getting the fire started, putting the tent up, blowing up the airbed, fluffing out the sleeping bag, and the list goes on. But for me, the most important thing is the comfort for those few hours that you're sitting around, chatting by the fire, eating food, drinking, etc. It makes so much difference to have a comfortable chair. Phew, that was a marathon. Time to relax. Ah, nice high-backed comfort. From memory, these chairs were about $26. They're quite a bit more robust than the smaller version. They've got bigger diameter tubing, heavier duty receptacles for those tubes, and will take the weight of a big buff head like myself. And they're higher off the ground, so again, my 190 centimetres finds it quite comfortable to sit in this chair. In fact, this is definitely the most comfortable of the four in this review. So this is my choice of chair when camping. Sure, it takes a bit of effort to set up, but it's fairly lightweight. It's reasonable size when it's packed up and it's really comfortable to be able to sit back and relax and have that nice high backed comfort. Yes, it's a struggle to put it back. All those legs want to spring back out rather than stay folded up. So, so long as you've got five or six hands, it's no problem packing it up. This is my backyard and you can see quite a few examples of the metalwork that I do as one of my hobbies. It's just as well I've got a tolerant wife that allows me to put this crap all over the yard. Alrighty then, where do I store these on the bike? I store my favourite chair on top of my pannier. But it's also small enough to put in the top box as an alternative. The traditional camping chair really has no option other than to go across the back of the seat. The small LD chair can be put in numbers of places. But because of the length of the three-legged stool, it's a little bit difficult to find a spot for it. If I was using it, again, it would go on top of the pannier. So, in summary, out of the four chairs, the high-backed LD chair is my favourite.